An authentic relationship is one where you can be honest. You can be open. You can talk about your experiences. You can very clearly share what your feelings are. You can state without having to rethink what your thoughts are. You feel that it's a space where you can be genuine. You can be someone who is truly your own true self. It's a space where you feel that that individual with whom you have that relationship would be able to tolerate even the difficult aspects of your personality or of your temperament. You would not feel that you need to hide parts of yourself. It would be a space where you think that even if you're sharing some things which could be hard to understand, which may be uh, something which could create a negative emotion in the other, it would not impact the quality of your relationship. It is these kind of relationships which involve true authenticity, where you can be absolutely your own true self and there is no need to keep altering, modifying or wearing some sort of a facade, a mask within that relationship so that you are perceived in a certain way and you have to continuously feel like you need to manage your own impression that you're creating within the communications that you're having with that person in front of you. In today's day and times, we have so many different influences on us. There is constantly this pressure to be a certain type of person. In our own mind, we have developed notions about what is acceptable and what is not, what would be seen as good and what would not be seen as good. And we feel that we have to live up to certain standards towards being a certain type of a person and that only those kind of ways of being would be acceptable to someone else. What we don't realize is that it creates so much pressure on us. And these pressures are coming at us from all directions. They come from the conversations that you're having with your friends when you are at school or at work or at your college. They're coming from within the family where there could be communication around how you need to be or how there is someone else who's a certain way and how you are not being like that type of a person and the ways in which you need to integrate certain qualities or values that are seen as far more important or desirable. Or this communication may also be coming to you from the media that you're consuming, where there are certain images that are getting uh, constructed and portrayed towards you, which are seen as being the ideal ones. Somewhere there is this preoccupation that gets created about being a certain way an ideal which we feel we need to strive towards. Whether that is something which is okay for us or not, possible for us or not, does not get considered. And of course, what does not get considered is the kind of stress and pressure it creates on you to keep on trying to work towards a goal which may not necessarily hold that kind of personal meaning and value for you as an individual. What you see you are doing in those situations is constantly trying to construct a self that you're putting ahead in front of others. And in fact, what is happening is that you're taking away the truth of the person that you are, the honesty of the person that you are. And you would in fact find that being authentic and being genuine in your relationships, where you can share and speak about anything that comes to your mind, where you can truly state what is the thought process that you have, the feelings that are getting evoked, or the kind of experiences you would like to have becomes more and more challenging. You feel that you would get compared to others. You feel that there would be a judgment on you. And as a result, you feel this constant need to contain and control it. And this makes it so much more difficult for us to keep ensuring that we can be true to our own selves. To develop an authentic relationship, the first point that you need to start with is understanding who you are. You need to start taking a very conscious thought process towards developing an understanding of what are the kind of values that are at the core of the person that you are. You may not even realize that often just answering that simple question of who I am can be so difficult for us. So you start there. You start developing that understanding of who you are, what are your values, what are your goals, what are the kind of, uh, what is the kind of life that you would like to have for your own self. When you are developing that understanding, the second step that you need to start taking is finding a way to be able to develop belief and confidence that whoever you are, whatever are your qualities, they can be acceptable. We all have things which are good, great about us, and there would be things which may not be the best about us. They can always be modified, but it is important for you to be able to bring an acceptance of all the pieces because that's what makes you the wholesome self 
the person that you are today and so your acceptance of it is going to critical to how people are also perceiving you and how you are being authentic in those relationships when you come from a space where you have greater belief in the person that you are and you're able to hold on to those positives you will realize that you do not need to keep on editing or modifying the ways in which you engage with people you can be more authentic the third aspect is to keep on reinforcing to your own self the goodness of the person that you are and of course that needs to be done in a very realistic manner we don't want you to keep on saying things are great if they are not of course you need to keep on modifying the pieces which you think do need to be uh, changed for you because that's also a process of growth through discovering what would be a better fit for you for the kind of goals that you want to achieve the kind of relationships that you want to have but it's also important to keep in mind that you need to surround yourself with people who are not always just criticizing you constantly pulling you down but you need people who would be encouraging and also appreciative of the kind of things that you do bring in which are good and great about the person that you are in your relationships so find the ability the confidence the belief to be able to be open expressive share things with people and if there are people who are truly your well wishers and who truly are in good authentic relationships with you they would be able to also take on things which are difficult which may not be the best and that would not mean that your relationship would get significantly impacted on account of that but take active steps to be more authentic because it will ensure that the discrepancy that is there which is getting created because of what you truly are and what you're projecting on the outside will not create any kind of stress or distress for you so we need to keep on bridging that gap and ensuring that the true you is getting more expressed within the relationships that you do have